Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are doing September's monthly oracle card guidance. And if you've been through the ringer for Mercury retrograde, the last Mercury retrograde in which we are still in the shadow period, then please write to me down below and let me know how that's been for you. Uh, for most people, it would have been okay, but there are some people where it's really, you know, where it's really been hardcore. In any case, we're coming on to eclipse season as well, and that has its own sets of uh, challenges, but I think the energy will be very much more um, revelatory, as well as uh, freeing. It will be very freeing, so you might find that in this time, you come to quite a lot of clarity and you come to a new place in your life. It's like you've reached a particular plateau and from then on, it's you who gets to decide. Of course, it's your life and um, it is always you who gets to decide. But now let's look at the September Oracle guidance. We have option number one, the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Option number two, the answer is simple. And option number three, the Enchanted Map Oracle. Go ahead and make your selection and let's get directly into the reading. And so for those of you who've chosen the first option, we are using the, moon, the Queen of the Moon Oracle and we are asking what is the monthly guidance, the Oracle guidance for September 2024? So for those of you who've chosen the first option, which is the Queen of the Moon Oracle, we are looking in the month of September at balance, power, protection, and the unexpected. So it very much feels like returning to some kind of balance after the busyness of July and August. The energy has been quite busy. Also at the beginning of June, July, August, um, and as you come into September, it's very much about coming into routines, coming into uh, a new light. It might You might have experienced the, first, the last three months as being quite intense, perhaps in terms of the weather, perhaps in terms of what's been going on around you or what you've needed to deal with internally because of what's been going on around you or simply because of the elements and how that has impacted your own um your your own uh, your own body your own physiology and your own mental state and i think that as you come into uh september we have the card of balance here where you start to find a little bit more familiarity uh with the world around you and you you have a sense of coming into a state of um like a just a familiarity just a a feeling of comfort. It may be that for some of you, the weather starts to become a little bit more, um, whether you're in the Southern Hemisphere or the Northern Hemisphere, it may feel that it starts to become a little bit more bearable or a little bit more, uh, well, more like you can see the light, you know, it becomes a little bit more predictable. And that also lends to, uh, to your world taking better shape. And as you come into the second week of September, there's the card of power. And you, even though it's a full moon card here in this deck, I think this energy is what leads up to the full moon. And I feel here that, well, you come into, you have a new moon tomorrow, which is the 3rd of September. 
And so you're still, you know, quite away from the full moon. You're still two weeks away from the full moon. But this energy is kind of building up to that. So you're coming from the space of balance and being able to feel like you have your feet firmly on the ground, even though for some of you, it'll only, you will begin to be moving or traveling or just simply traveling within your, your own or making movement within your own life. Um, you are doing it with a certain degree of power and a certain degree of, uh, like there's some kind of fortitude attached to it. There's, n there's a need to move ahead and to make a stride. And it's not, you're not making waves as yet, but you, there is some stride, great, powerful, wide strides that you're making. And I feel that um, in the second week of Spain, sorry, Spain, the second week of September, excuse me, what we are going to, well, I feel that in the second week of September, you are going to uh, start feeling like things are coming together. There's going to be some kind of rounding up. Um, there's going to be some kind of um, certainty coming into your life. Perhaps if it was, you know, needing to hear some news or needing to embark upon a new path, and there's going to be, you know, some certainty with regard to that. Perhaps you are enrolling in a new institution. Perhaps you are changing apartments or houses or you or you are buying a new house. Or maybe it's a, a huge purchase or something else. Maybe it's just some big purchase that you're doing uh, that is something that is, it feels like there is some certainty around it. And I think also here that if you're not purchasing anything, there's just a simple feeling of things coming together after being in chaos and being, once again, feeling powerful in your stride. Uh, and the first week of September is basically being able to get feel grounded again and feel that balance around you. Now, as we move into the third week of September, there's going to be a need to look after yourself. And I feel here... God is protection, but I feel that it really is protection. It's very much about looking after your daily routines, about ensuring that your comfort is uh, ensured and, and that you are well and you are feeling good in terms of what you are eating and in terms of your daily rhythms, in terms of how warm or cold you are, of how protected you are from the elements once again, but not just from the elements. I feel it's also it also has to do with just feeling protected in terms of what is going on in the world. Now, that night might not be at your doorstep necessarily. It might be something that's happening uh, far away from you or something that's impending um, that is going to happen that you are aware of. Uh, for many of you, it could simply be the political situation. It could be new restrictions that are placed upon us um, in terms of... Um, regarding health or regarding um, regulations about how much of gas you use or how much of it, water you use, etc. So for different people, it would mean different things depending on where you are on the planet. But it, it could simply be that you just like protecting what you have and what you need to protect. And it's very much being in the position where you're looking after something or yourself. So it's like a mother looking after its young child and you are looking after yourself in that way, just ensuring that, you know, your temperature is in some kind of homeostasis and you're getting enough food and you have what you need in order to be well. And I, I feel like the third week of September is very much about that. So you've con kind of gotten into the rhythm already that you've needed to get into. And then it's really about ensuring that it stays that way. And then as you're coming to the end of September, the card here has the unexpected. And I feel that there's a great opportunity to go deeper in yourself and to be able to understand a lot more. You might have found that in the last few weeks, a lot of realizations have crept into you, into your mind. A lot of um, understanding has crept into your mind about things that have happened in the past, about... Um, things as you were as a child or as a teenager. And I think here what it is, is really about, it's about like, you know, these kind of thoughts that just drop into your mind. They're not your thoughts necessarily, but it's just kind of realizations that you have. 
And I feel that as you come to the end of September, those realizations are going to come together and there's going to be a, a deeper, more profound understanding of things, not just of yourself, but also your relationships to those around you, to those that you love. And there's, there's an opportunity for great forgiveness to come at the end of September and, and great enlightenment and understanding not just of your uh, point of view, but that of those around you. For some of you, you'll also come into some new news at the end of September. There might be something happening which um, asks you to look further, to look further afield from where you are and make new plans regarding the way forward. Uh, but that just applies to quite a few of you. And I think either way, there is a kind of peace that settles over you once you come to the end of September because there is no other way but to be in this peace. And I feel that everything that's been happening from about April, March, April, has is leading to this peace that you're finding in yourself. Um, and that it's it's been working towards that. So if you think back at what, what's happened in the last eclipses and that we've had earlier this year, you're going to find some parallels are drawn and that, you know, relationships that were challenged then will have reached peace now and will have come to some kind of new understanding. I think that um, there could also be some kind of um, new understanding that comes with certain family members or perhaps you view a particular family member in, in a specific light but in fact they are quite different when you are with them and there's some kind of peace that comes to to that to that understanding or some kind of recognition and enlightenment that comes up with regard to that particular person and for you you will know who that that uh, who um that applies to in your life i think for a lot of people who are um, middle-aged, that could be uh, a member of the opposite sex, um, either a sibling or a parent of the, uh, that is, uh, of the opposite sex. Um, that could, That's just a generalization, though. This could be somebody completely different. It doesn't have to be a family member as well. It could be somebody who's like family to you or somebody who's just fairly close to you and you just come to a new understanding of how to accept them for all that they are in your world. And I think that's uh, that's how we round up September. Either way, September is going to be a month of um, maintaining the balance, maintaining that homeostasis, being able to uh, herald the power that is there that you can and being able to come to stillness and quietness and softness when the need is. And then gaining the enlightenment that you need from here. If you have quite a busy September plan for you, I would suggest that at every moment that you can, go into meditations, go into grounding yourself, feel the earth be beneath your feet and uh, return to a, a certain part of yourself every day in order to keep yourself grounded. Okay, so that's my news for you. For those of you who've chosen the Queen of the Moon Oracle, which was the first deck, I wish you all a very blessed September and may the month be beautiful for you. And for those of you who've chosen the second option, the deck that we're using is called the Answer is Simple and it's by Sonia Chaquette. And if you have been following this channel for a while, then you know this is one of my favorite decks and I love I love using it. Um, and I especially love using it when there's been times of, of difficulty around because the answer really is simple. And this deck brings lightness and reminds one that the answer is simple. I'm using it today because I just felt that um, since the Mercury retrograde of August has been quite um, difficult for some people, it's really been, you know, taking people a step back and bringing worry and bringing stress into people's lives. And I just thought that this deck would be a nice deck to use, especially since we have the upcoming eclipses as well. 
So yes, for those of you who've chosen option number two, we are using the answer a simple oracle deck to understand the messages that we have for us for September 2024. And for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're using the answer is simple, Oracle Cards by Sonia Shakat. And for the month of September 2024, we have be courageous, be patient, give yourself the best and speak with love. So as you start the month of September, I feel that you may be starting off from a footing that is slightly weaker than you have been. Um... And it's as if you have to force yourself to go one step further and to push on further to have that stamina, to reestablish that stamina where you may be burning out in order to bring something to fruition. It might be that you have a very difficult application ahead of you. It might be that you are embarking upon a new path and you need that courage to push you forth to give you the support that you need regardless this card talks about allowing putting yourself um in some sort of difficulty or discomfort or rather taking yourself out of familiarity and comfort to push forward take yourself out of your comfort zone basically that's what i'm trying to say uh, not necessarily place yourself in difficulty but actually just be open to some little bit of discomfort so you can allow yourself to grow and and flourish within a particular set, set of circumstances. Whatever you are, whatever is ahead of you, you need to be courageous. You know, perhaps you have some concerns, or worries about financial matters, or perhaps you have some um, decisions that need to be made where you're embarking upon a new path and you have to, you don't know what's ahead of you, but the card here is suggesting that you just go ahead anyway and be courageous and, and have faith, I would say, alongside with it. Just allow yourself to have faith and that will feed your courage. And then we have uh, be patient as you come into the second week of September. I think as you come into the second week of September, it becomes evident that things may take a longer a little longer than you expect it to take, that the process will take time, that whereas you may have thought that something can be done within a few weeks, you will find that it will take several months before somebody comes to their decision about something, before somebody, um, some institution makes a decision for you that will impact your life. Uh, and before a certain process can be can take place that will ultimately um, change the way things are for you, okay? And it can be a little bit of a, a roller coaster. It can be that things are a little bit up and down. And I think there's nothing to really be worried about, but simply to go with emotions and go with the flow and just, you know, queue up, wait, um, have patience, just be in line to do what needs to be done next don't give up don't walk away um and just you know have have calm yourself down and and have patience now as you go into the third week of um september you might find that you have a choice as to whether to 
be comfortable, whether to be happy or whether to be quite skint uh, when it comes to how you spend your money, how you live your life and in what degree of abundance uh, you allow yourself to to bathe in. Uh, what what degree of hedonism do you allow yourself to actually, uh, you know, to experience? So how much are you willing to enjoy life or what kind of, or what does um, being good to yourself mean to you? How does that, what does it mean for yourself and how is it that you can actually go one step further in being good to yourself? So it's in direct contrast to the first week of, September, which is asking you to take yourself out of the comfort zone. And yes, it's, it's about how can you put yourself in comfort, but also decorate yourself, feel good about yourself, cover, sur surround yourself with, with things that make you happy and make you and feel make you feel joy in your heart, whether it's the way you're dressing, whether it has to do with uh, providing some basics to yourself that you may need. Um, and that you might be restricting yourself from having. Um, you know, if you need to go shopping for the winter or for the summer, buy the best gear or the best um, shoes or the best jacket uh, or coat that you need. And make sure that you're well taken care of. And I think it's not just about hedonism here. It's really about giving yourself the best because that's going to allow you to function better within a certain uh, and certain environment. And as you come into the end of September, the cardias speak with love. And I think that um, this is a theme that comes up for you that you might have revisited already. Perhaps it's a theme that's been in your life for or for a long, long time. And perhaps it's something that it's just a reminder to say, well, where is it and how is it that I can speak here with more love, whether it's to myself or to my children or to my siblings or to my parents, to my colleagues, to the the driver on the street who's cut me off. Um, yeah, just speaking with love, washing things over with love, but having truly not just that superficial washing things over with love, but really behaving and and it coming from within yourself, from within your heart, so that you are understanding the reality of the world and you're understanding that things are not necessarily okay, but you choose regardless to speak with love so that you can overcome whatever it is that has the potential to... Um, go south or go haywire. And so I think that it's it's really a necessary thing. And I think it's nice when it comes up in reading because I think we all could do with a reminder to speak with love and to spread more love and to be kinder. There's so much of um, judgment and, um, yeah, there's so much of judgment in the world right now, so much of division. And we can choose to speak with love and allow the love to shine through rather than our criticisms of the world as it exists. So you will find that as you come to the end of September, there will be um, that that, the, that will be a theme for you and the way in which you re react and the way in which you respond to those around you requires you to be a bit more perhaps patient, but also to speak with love and to be a bit kinder and it means also that you're going to be kinder to yourself because it asks you to have a bit more faith in others so that you can speak in, with love and therefore have a bit more faith in the situation that it can actually be resolved, whatever it may be. Okay, as you come into the end of September and you go on to October, there is a need for you to speak with love and to um, be a bit more I think, patient, to work through frustrations that might be there and um, give yourself the space to be able to speak with love as well. So deal with your inner frustrations, 
your exhaustion, your um, um, antipathy, whatever it is that holds you back from speaking out love, it asks you to work with that as you come to the end of September. All right, so I wish you all a fabulous month ahead. May you have um, all that you need for September and may you just surf through these eclipses that are coming up and uh, come through into October with a lot more progress in your life than you've had and that you have may, may have had in the last few months. So good luck with that and all the best to you all and many blessings from Kismet Rising. And so for those of you who've chosen the third option, we're using the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed And we're asking, what is it that we need to know for September 2024? What is it that we need to know for September 2024? So for those of you who've chosen the option number three, I have to say that um, looking at these cards and uh, reading the first option and second option, that the energy is similar between all three um, readings today. And normally it's not like that. Normally it's two is, is quite similar and the third one is completely different. But today there's the same energy running through. The messages are different, but the energy is the same, which tells me that the way in which September will unravel for everyone will be more or less the same, like you're riding the same wave. Okay, so let's see what it has for you. So the first um, card that comes out is is Moonlight. I think that, a, you know, we are on a new moon tomorrow, the 3rd of September, uh, in the early hours of the morning in Central European time anyway. But for some of you, it'll be uh, later today in um in the western coast of the US or uh it might be yeah just during the day for you in Australia and um New Zealand etc so here we have moonlight i think that the new moon is incredibly powerful tomorrow morning um uh, for me it's tomorrow morning so i think it's incredibly powerful i think that what you are looking at and what you are feeling is really going to be quite poignant for you. And I think that there's special attention that needs to take place um, around the new moon. I know, yeah, it's showing a full moon, but as I said, it is the new moon. I think here we have a certain need to to understand ourselves a bit deeper, to go into a stillness within ourselves, to ground ourselves, to, to collect ourselves. It's almost like, you know, a shamanic retrieval of the soul, 
needs to take place. But also I feel that if you've lost loved ones, if you are thinking about people who've made up your life, if you're thinking about different aspects of the person you were at different parts of your life and you want to revisit different different parts of you along your life's journey, that would be a good time to do the so, you know, and I would encourage you to perhaps think about who you were and uh, write a letter to yourself or just a message to yourself or talk to yourself back then, the younger versions of yourself. There's a feeling here of needing to collect all parts of you and bring it together and round yourself up. There's also a feeling of, of needing to use this new moon energy um, to work within establishing a new beginning for yourself. And I really feel that, um, you know, the new moon is, it's not where it really begins. It's almost like it begins in the first quarter. And, um, and I think that the new moon this week, you know, as you come, I'm, I'm putting this out there on the 2nd of September, but until about the 8th or 9th of September, I think there's going to be a, a some kind of feeling of being able to reestablish something within yourself. And maybe all it requires is you to go through your stuff and declutter and organize the things that you have. Or maybe it has to do with remembering certain things from the past. Or maybe just simply um, reducing the amount of contact you have to the outside world and to other people so that you can actually gather yourself. Yeah, I feel it's very much about gathering yourself, okay? So as we come into the second week of September, we have the balancing act. And I feel that this balancing act is very much about trying to juggle, <coughs> excuse me, trying to juggle different parts of yourself, okay? So it might be that you need to do, do some kind of business meeting while actually needing to be quite rugged. So, you know, what I feel is like, it's almost like you are being, uh, needing to be outdoors and be on a hike or something and then having to juggle that with a business meeting. Um, it's it, That's what's coming to mind for me, okay? So I feel that you will be doing quite a lot uh, to reach somewhere or to get somewhere. And I think it's the... The, the energy is around balancing that. It's about where we headed to and how is it that I can do this in the most balanced way so that I'm not bringing stress into my body and my mind and I'm not, I'm going to be grounded and well. And, and really just, you know, I feel like it's such an important month to reduce the amount of stress that you might be experiencing in yourself. I feel here as well that, um, it's very much about you kind of, it's almost like you're shying away from something. It's almost like it, the same here as well. It's almost like you're shying away from something. It's almost like you know something or you, you have a feeling about something, but you're going ahead and doing something else instead. Uh, and in that way, you're shying away from your own intuition. I don't feel that it's wrong or that it's something that you shouldn't be doing. I feel that the, the the direction you're taking is necessary for you to take, but at the same time, there's some part of you that has some doubt about that. And I think maybe the balancing act here has to do about you balancing yourself and your own criticisms, your own doubts about a path that you're about to take or you have embarked upon and your own intuition and your own um, judgment of that situation. All right, there's something else I want to say about that, but I think I need to read here first and come back to that. As we come into the third week of September, the card is wishing well. And I think here, as you're coming to the third week of September, you're also coming to the eclipse season. And um, well, we are already sort of in eclipse season, but you get closer to it. And I love this card because it basically asks you to wish for what it is that you need to. And I feel that here... This is really about the journey. These two cards, the first two weeks of September leads to the third week of September. It's a preparation for that. This is almost like you are trying to understand who you are here and what you are and what is important to you. And then doing the balancing act of getting to a place where you can actually allow yourself to be able to wish for what you desire 
and be honest with yourself about what it is that you want. Okay, there's some degree of honesty that's coming up here, something that you have to face where you feel like, okay, maybe you've made a decision about something, but then you're going back on the decision. You know, maybe you signed a lease to um, take on an apartment and you've decided, ah, but it's not really want where I want to live. So I'm going to have to go back on that. And there might be some payment to be done as a result of that. Or maybe there's been a purchase of something. Uh, or maybe you were supposed to enroll in a particular uh, school or institution and there's going back on that. And that's what this is about, right? That's the message I want to give you just now. But here, it's like you wish, it's what you're wishing for now in the third week of September. And what you're wishing for, you can have exactly what you wish for. And that's what this card is saying. But, but you know, the old adage, be careful what you wish for. Well, you will be careful for what you wish for because in this week that we're in right now and next week, you will be coming to understand certain things about yourself and remembering certain things about yourself, which will ultimately influence what you will wish for in the third week of September. And I think that um, it's like your, the world's your oyster. It's like you're standing on this precipice and you can choose anything that you want coming here on the third week of September. And it's really up to you what you decide that you want for yourself. It really is your will, your, um, your destiny that you are creating for yourself, okay? And as we come into the third week, I mean, sorry, as we come into the fourth week of September, the last week of September, as we go, before we go into October, we have sacred pool here. And I think that this card, it's just, I feel like it's going to be a fabulous month for those of you who chose this option because it's really about, you know, kind of uncovering yourself and, um, doing a soul retrieval at the beginning of the month and then you know balancing that and balancing administrative things or other things purchases or whatever is happening in your life like some big changes that might be happening or maybe changes that are happening underneath that you're not really aware of and the second third week have to do with that and then as you come to the fourth week of September there's really this peace and this spirituality that becomes you it's as if you've been moving towards that and you've arrived and you've reached that point and you're able to go much deeper in who you are in terms of your spirituality, in terms of your meditation, your healing, your, your stillness inside of yourself. And you have all the answers that you need as you come to the end of September. And I think this is a very good way to end the month because come October, there's a whole new set of challenges and a whole new set of things that are going to be taking place. And I think that being in a sacred space, being in a sacred space within yourself and being able to uh, indulge in that and uncover that for yourself is has a lot of significance and is going to be really beautiful for you. So as you move through September, be aware of all the physical things and the material things that need to be dealt with, but also think about your spirit and your soul and the development of your spirit and soul in this process and bring yourself to sacred spaces where you may be able to feel that stillness and that peace and connect to a deeper parts of yourself and the other realms that exist. All right. So I think it's going to be a beautiful month. Um, yes, it might be a, with some challenges, but I don't think that it's, it's anything that you don't have a handle on. And I think that as you come to the end of September, you're going to have some knowledge, which you certainly don't have at the beginning. And it's going to be a certain level, a certain vibrational level that perhaps you've been seeking for a very long time. And that's where you, maybe you've been seeking it unconsciously, but that's where you're going to find yourself. And it's going to be beautiful for you. All right. I wish you all a fabulous September. Good luck with everything and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.